You are not gay, right? That's not your business. Oh, but you make the gayness a lot of people's business when you no, I discuss don't. I their... make it. I make it no one's business. Do you want to act like a man? Do you man live in hell? Do you, a, do you want to act like, do you live in like hell? a man? Or do you want to? Hey, look, look. I put aside my time. I thought you wanted to deal with issues to help folks. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Because yes. I don't want to play the woman's game with you. You just watched Ethan Klein of the H3 podcast confront right-wing pastor and commentator Jesse Lee Peterson about his sexuality. And as you saw, he got real defensive. Now, for those not aware about Jesse Lee Peterson, he is a Trump-supporting radio host that focuses a lot of time and energy on demonizing queer people. Just to give you a small taste, this is a snippet from one of his videos posted four years ago titled How to Stop Being Gay. The spirit of homosexuality is of their father, the devil, it's not them, the person. It's the spirit that made a home in them. And it came from them overreacting to some sort of a situation in life, whether it's from someone uh, uh, messing with them when they were kids or overreacting to an angry mother because you become like what you hate. So it's an evil spirit, and they can overcome it if they don't accept it as a right. They have to see that. Yes, they're stuck into it, but it's something wrong with it. And in that, they're able to overcome it. God will remove that spirit away from them. Hmm. Well, apparently God didn't remove the evil gay spirit from Jesse Lee Peterson. And I say this because after years and years and years of preaching hate against gay people, one day he made a really big oopsie, which is why Ethan decided to ask him about his own sexuality. Now, the oopsie that he made uh, occurred on one day when he apparently forgot to log into his burner account or thought that he was logged in and didn't pay attention, but he ended up liking some gay tweets on his public Twitter account. Now, how gay are these tweets, you ask? Oh, they are very, very gay, my friends. We're talking two dudes passionately kissing levels of gay. We're talking mouth to ass levels of gay. And after realizing the horrible mistake he made in a moment of post nut clarity, he abruptly locked down his entire Twitter account. Now, it's not the first time that a homophobe has been exposed as a closet case, and it won't be the last. But Jesse Lee Peterson is so brazen that he just kept pretending like the entire internet didn't just see him like gay porn on his public profile. And he just carried on with his usual usual homophobic rhetoric and even attended a straight pride parade after he got caught liking gay porn on his public profile. But things got even worse for Jesse Lee Peterson because in July of 2022, the Daily Beast reported, quote, two of Peterson's former male associates came out in June with on the record interviews saying they engaged in sexual activities with him while other men say he propositioned them. And the men who Jesse Lee Peterson allegedly propositioned and made unwanted sexual advances towards went on the record in a 20 six minute long documentary produced by a right wing Catholic website. And I'll link to that down below. We don't have time to watch that. But they basically detail how this man is pretty open and aggressive about his sexuality. Now, after that story came out from the Daily Beast, others decided to speak out. One of them being David Pakman, who shared his experience about how handsy Peterson was with him when he was in L.A. at his studio to be on his show. Was he handsy at his office? He was. Um, he kept, you know, when we took pictures, he was sort of like weirdly hugging me arm around me in a way that's like, it's not, it doesn't raise any red flag. He, we, I didn't think he was coming on to me. I didn't feel intimidated or, or whatever. There were people around, but it was just like, it was the first time I was meeting him and he was a little bit handsy and I didn't really think anything of it. Now in this context, Maybe that was something sort of different. He was kind of like whispering into my ear, like not sweet nothings. It was actually about Trump. He was like, and I've said this before, like, you're you're going to vote for Trump, aren't you, David? You're, you're going to vote for Trump. And I quite literally thought absolutely nothing of it, like nothing at all, like what people are describing. The atmosphere at his office with young men kind of hanging around, the fact that he counsels young men with Christian counseling, I did find it all weird. Now, David Pakman also explains that he didn't really make much of Peterson's handsiness at the time, but in light of all of this new information that came out, it kind of really makes you rethink the situation in a new contextual light. Now, at that point, the dam burst, right? 
everyone knew that Jesse Lee Peterson was gay. It was an open secret at this point. And before, when you search Jesse Lee Peterson on YouTube, you would find dozens of videos of him talking about the evils of homosexuality. But after all of this came out in 2022, well, all of those videos that come up when you search Jesse Lee Peterson gay are just of him being gay. And uh, yes, I'm very proud of my contribution to this important discourse. But despite all of this, Jesse Lee Peterson still continued to pretend as if none of this happened and just kept preaching hate. It is absolutely wild. One of his callers had called in, if I'm remembering correctly, and asked him about the gay porn tweets, and he was completely unbothered by it. He just disconnected the call, brushed it aside, and kept going. So it's astonishing to me that somebody could be so hateful publicly while being very gay privately and just have no shame about that, right? He knows that we all know he's a hypocrite, and it doesn't really seem to bother him. When other closet cases who preach hate were caught before, they at least had the decency to kind of be quiet about their hatred of gay people, but not Jesse Lee Peterson. So he's been able to kind of brush it aside and still pretend as if he's Mr. Masculine Straight Guy up until this point when the dam broke again because he went on a very large podcast, the H3 podcast, and was confronted about his gay porn tweets directly. Now, you already got a taste of what he said in that first clip. And as you saw, he got really defensive. You know, if you're a straight guy, you're not going to say it's none of your business. When somebody asks you if you're gay, you're going to say, of course, I'm straight. But Jesse Lee Peterson kind of got a sense of where this was going up to that point. And it got even worse as that clip went on. So, it's going to get very awkward when his producer steps in after Ethan brings up the gay porn tweets and just take a look at what happens. It is genuinely insane. So, well, let me ask you this, because I know you, you have you, any other topic. One last time, you could talk to your brother-in-law Moses about this and he'll help you deal with that yeah, and overcome true. it. Or Jesse, forgive, why did you like this? Why did you like this for, tweet by your daddy or, only or fans? Forgive your mother. Forgive your mother. He's giving a thumbs and up. She will. Jesse, why did you no, like this post from Your Daddy OnlyFans? Part two was Sean Boy UK. I have no idea. It's what two is. men kissing. I have no idea. And they're muscular what and very uh, bare like. They like really me. think they really think that you're like running a Twitter and stuff. Like, yeah, I have no idea. What really? Doing. Wait, why wouldn't you? Why, why wouldn't you be running your Twitter? So why did you? You really think he would? Are you? Yeah, what, is is the do producer? You think he is? What makes you think he is? Oh, so did you like it? Yeah, did you like it? Are you gay? I don't know. I have no idea. Bro thought he was cooking well, right Jesse, there. Well, Jesse, this is important. The people <laughs> want to know. Let me. Your producer got me. real quiet. What did he like the gay porn? Self report. It was one of you <laughs> two. Someone fess up. They're hang They're hanging up. <laughs> Someone fess See, up. That's what you. That's what you want me to do, so you can say I ran. But you guys said you wanted to talk about real stuff. This I, is real, I, man. Jesse, this is a real I, tweet that was liked. Jesse, set aside Jesse, an expose you know, by the Daily had, Beast. They re I said had. that several men had had sexual encounters with you, some as long as yeah. ten years. Yeah. Is that yeah. true? Say hello to Moses, buddy. I'm I, I'm I. All right. Was your producer? Oh, he hung up. <laughs> All right. Damn. Now, when I saw this clip for the first time, my jaw was on the floor because so much had happened in such a short amount of time that it was difficult to process everything that we just saw. So first and foremost, I love that Jesse Lee Peterson initially considered sticking around for a while, saying, I don't want to give you what you want by running or something to that effect. But then, you know, things got a little bit too hot for him and he didn't want the smoke. So he decided to bail, which doesn't necessarily uh, help convince his viewers that the allegations are false. Now, listen, the reason why this is so much more devastating for Jesse Lee Peterson is because on his own show, he gets left wingers calling in to debate him all the time. So if you're a regular viewer of Jesse Lee Peterson, what's wrong with you, first of all, but I could see why you would think that somebody calling in to ask him about his gay porn tweets wouldn't really be that persuasive because it could just be somebody buddy trolling. But when you go on a very large podcast and they provide the receipts and you get that defensive and you bail, that puts things in a very different light, even if you didn't believe all the other things that we saw about Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, the way that Ethan's producer, Dan, checkmated Jesse's producer was chef's kiss. It was so weird that his producer chimed in to defend him. And Jesse Lee Peterson, if you notice, looked over to his producer because things were getting a little bit too spicy. So, you know, he didn't know how to handle it. So his producer had to say, oh, you think that he's running his public Twitter account? But it's not persuasive 
if Jesse Lee Peterson is so homophobic, but yet somebody who works for him is that gay to where they're liking gay porn on the public account. Like, none of this makes sense if you actually believe that he did what he did, and he did because we all have the receipts. But listen, even though this is so embarrassing for Jesse Lee Peterson, I fully expect him to do what he's been doing all this time. He's gonna keep pretending like none of this happened and he's gonna keep preaching hate. But listen, every single time he brings up the evils of gay people or demonizes the queer community, there's going to be someone there for the rest of his life to share this clip, to remind him that we all know who he is. And let this be a warning for anyone else who traffics in hate. Be very careful with what you do, because the second you let the mask slip, we will all expose you. Jesse Lee Peterson isn't the only gay homophobe who has a very big platform. Chaya Rychik already inadvertently told on herself one time during an in appearance on Tucker Carlson when she claimed that LGBTQ plus content was alluring to minors, hence why they shouldn't see it. But that's such an interesting word to use because you wouldn't think that that kind of content is alluring if you were actually straight. You'd only think it's alluring if you're gay and tempted by it, right? So a lot of times the loudest homophobes, they get a little bit too conspicuous and they don't even realize it. And I get that they are externalizing their internal struggles and it's really unfortunate for them that they can't accept themselves. But if they're gonna make their battles all of our problems, I think we have a responsibility to expose them and out them if they give us the ammunition, if they provide us with evidence and we have the receipts. So, you know, Jesse Lee Peterson is getting that treatment right now and I can only wonder, Who's next? Were you acting like a beta? Beta,